some fun. I'm ready for some fun. Nice. Good morning, Phyrexia. How are everyone today? Or if you're not in the, the thing yet, we'll, we'll see you when you are. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to apparently have issues with my Twitch app again. Yeah. Good. That's how it goes. Happy that this can be a weekly thing. <laughs> that's how phone apps are. Well, take your time, because I have so many rants prepared. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you might notice. Actually, I, I assume <laughs> MTGBot is in there. Let me go test MTGBot real quick. Hey, there he is. There's, like, at least in my top 700 of Joseph's. Uh, real quick, let me just... Uh, MTGBot's still alive? Hell yeah. Hey, it's also my favorite game. Uh, yeah, okay. So we set up a tip jar. It is a Bitcoin address. If for some reason you want to support this stream, send Bitcoin to that address. Um, and MTG bot should eventually come around and that's on the plugs. Pester you about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if for some reason you want to trigger it, like maybe you're like, I want to do it right now. Then you can, like I did, exclamation point tip jar. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I find it funny that it's like, well... I'm going to ask for, I'm going to beg for Bitcoin tips right as Bitcoin goes down to like... <laughs> oh, it's never been a better time to give us your Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was like 50k a week ago, and now it's 35k. Um, it's still way more than I have. Well, that's for one Bitcoin. Okay. One of the things it's very happy about is that you can divide them very small mm. and buy like 0. 0.0001 Bitcoin. Oh, that's cool. In fact, the particular wallet I set up is like, would you like to just work with micro Bitcoin? And that way it's like 55 as opposed to 55,000. Oh, that's fine with us. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I did also want to mention Alex was unbelievably right. If you watched the stream last week. It's like my favorite sentence. <laughs> he was like, he was talking about how McDonald's, you know, dresses up their stuff and uses like shoe polish on their wings to make False it. False advertisements. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. At the time I was like, well, I mean, did it? no, 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 no. Alex was right. That is false advertising is lying. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I will mention at the end again, but like this week we're going to do How to Play Magic, Magic 101. We're going to take a uncorrupted virgin mind, specifically Joseph, and sacrifice it to science and teach him how to play. Oh, yeah. Sacrifice him to the great god, Yagma. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He's not a god. He's a human cleric. Uh, Much like Kalia. He doesn't even fly, though. Yeah, I don't even... Is he a cleric? I thought he was, like, a tactician. Tactician? Maybe. Or, or I don't know. Well, something. let's find out. Okay. But in the meantime, we're going to do that. I think I would know because I play him. <laughs> James says, nerdifying him further. I know, right? We're going to... We are on the verge of getting him to play D&D. No, it's okay. Alex got me to play D&D. One would think that would have gone the other way. Uh, I've been actually talking to CD a little bit, and he's been very excited about a new uh, new book that he's getting in, which is, like, anime-based. He is he's a human Human cleric. cleric. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. With protection from himself. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently, like, it's, it's this anime-based 5e game. So, like, he was saying how excited he was to, to put a game like that together. And I could not be more excited to play D&D again. Hell yeah. Uh... And then saying something about our original campaign and how maybe those characters just didn't get it done. And there might be new characters to come and pick up where they left off, which would just be awesome. Mm. I would love to just play D&D &D again and roll dice with purpose. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Come upon the corpse of your previous character. Oh my god, yeah. Grab all his items. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah, I assume. Best had a freaking Wand of Magic Missile, which would just be awesome for Fidget. Yeah. Fidget. Um, Talk like this all scenario. <laughs> Super sweet. Let's see. Uh, as far as uh, notifying him further, and uh, I think that's about all the excitement. Uh, Alex was correct, hell yeah. Did you miss that thumb rumble? We missed that thumb rumble. Uh, the schedule remains, we just missed one. <clears throat> yeah, um, that was my bad. I was not feeling well yeah, on fine. Wednesday. Uh, we can confirm that Alex did not have the Rona yet. I did not have the Rona. And I'm going to get my vaccination later today. Very so. exciting. Yay. Later this morning in Phyrexia. It uh, is the vaccination is physicist, though, yeah. so he's going to come out. Yep. Um, As a Phyrexian obliterator. Oh, God. 
<laughs> you're gonna well, at least to, it's not going to have to deal with that. Yeah. Just exile immediately. Yeah, um, tap him, fight target guy. Yeah, it's true. I can't believe that fucking card. <laughs> it's Sure, it's like, by all means, be like, that is a scrub quote, Adam, but I can't believe they printed Phyrexian Obliterator. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fucking selfish. <laughs> yeah, and it looks a lot like a Phyrexian Negator. Mm-hmm. Let me bring them both up. But, like, very similar, which is funny just to underline how he's vastly superior, like, of a card. Because, like, Phyrexian Obliterator, when it's dealt damage, here, we'll go over that again. Uh, Phyrexian. Pre-diabetes. No, thank you, Google keyboard. The pre-diabetes and Obliterator. Yeah. Uh, that's a Phyrexian Obliterator. Notice, when he's dealt damage, sacrifice the, like, whoever deals, deals it damage, this is controller, sacrifices that many permanents. Behold blessed perfection. Yeah, that's pretty good. If I built that, I'd be like, fucking sweet. Yeah, that's Uh, true. But you know what was in some, like, you know, tournament-winning deck back in the 90s? Was Phyrexian Negator, which is, like, the opposite. Your opponent deals damage, and you sacrifice that many permanents. And he looks the same, just slightly less spiky. Mm -hmm. And a 5-5 for 3, Jesus. Yeah, with Trample. I mean, not worth... The ridiculous drawback, but uh, yeah. I then run him, asshole. If you think he's so okay. not after two decades worth of cards have come yeah, exactly. out, I won't. Exactly. But when there was only three sets, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why, why not run a five five for three? Because you had to pay like eight mana for five fives back in the day. Yeah, back when they were like, oh well, all the mana is black mana, so it's a really high cost. Yeah, a couple of demons are like that. Oh yeah, pay four and four black for this eight eight, and then during your upkeep, pay seven life or tap him. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Not play him. Yeah. Run a Visadrix instead. <laughs> yeah, and that's like six and a blue six six, end of card. Yep. Oh, not not end of card. Fuck ton of flavor text. Oh yeah, that's like right. <laughs> like a novel on that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you paid for every word on that card. <laughs> Yeah. That and Trained Org, too. It was, like, the exact same thing. Yeah, like, just right. Yeah. Bunch of flavor text. Yeah, they were in, like, the Starter 7th Edition. Mm-hmm. I have so many of those stupid cards. Yeah, and they have the audacity to be rare. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, Goblin Hero, 2-2 two, two for 2. Yeah. Rare. Yeah. 2-2 okay. for 2, rare. Yeah. Play the Savannah Lions, it's 2-1 one for 1 white. <laughs> yeah. See, this, like, any long-running game that mm-hmm. wants you to keep buying... They have to have power creep like this. Mm-hmm. But it does result in, like, if you bought a bunch of cards in the early 90s, you'd be like, these are trash now. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm mad that I spent this much money. And then if you're coming in later like we are, then you'd be like, wow, looking back, those were trash. Yeah, right. Like, how did people even play Magic back in the day? Yeah. Well, you see combat damage use the stack. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck is the stack? Yeah. Well, that's going to be fun. Uh, it's like the thing that I miss most about Magic is combat damage using the stack. Oh, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mog Fanatic was one of the strongest fucking cards ever. I do not know. It two G's a, or one? Uh, two Let's G's, try. I think. Mog okay. Fanatic. Uh, okay. It's a 1-1 one, one for one red that you can sacrifice to throw a damage. Oh, cool. So when combat damage used to use the stack, you would attack with your Mog Fanatic. They'd block with their 2-2 two, two Grizzly Bear. You'd put the damage on the stack, sack the Mog Fanatic, and throw the damage at the Grizzly Bear. Then both damage would resolve, and you would kill the Grizzly. That's right. Yep. Yeah, but now you sacrifice him, he doesn't get to deal his combat damage. Or he deals his combat damage, he's dead before you can sacrifice him. Yeah. Uh, check, look up La- Lazav the Multifarious. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're familiar with how he works. Uh, no, because I confuse him with the other one. Okay. Well, you can pay X, and he becomes a copy of target creature in your graveyard with convert a mana cost X. Yeah. Okay, so your turn starts. He is the 1-1 one, one unblockable. Uh, oh, Jesus. The 1-1 one, one unblockable. Anyone unblockable, and then you switch him into something massive. You swing. Yeah. When he hits, you pay 1 to turn him into a Phyrexian uh, Dreadnought. So he's a 12-12. You put that damage on the stack. You pay 3 to make him the guy with Infect in your graveyard. Oh, so now Jesus. 12 damage is going to resolve on him, but now he has Infect. Good God. And thank- 10 Infect is instant death. <laughs> Jesus yep. Christ. Uh, thank God they took combat damage off the stack, because I'd keep that deck together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> at a certain point, you have to be like, all right, this is the deck that wins every game. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta stop There's that. There's always a way to counter things, unless it's counter spells. <laughs> In which case, there's the split second counter spell. That's the only thing that's uncounterable. <laughs> the only thing that is definitely happening is split ah. second counter target spell. No, but there's also unmorphing. Oh yeah, that doesn't use the stack. Yeah, and there's one thing that when it unmorphs, you can bounce something. But the act of like what you do to unmorph might use the stack. I don't know. No, you can just unmorph without yeah. using the stack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's happening. Silly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> But so yeah, like Strict Proctor. Counter. We've mentioned previously how they reworked how abilities are triggered to make Strict Proctor work the way they wanted. Yeah, right. Entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability to trigger counter that ability unless the controller pays two. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So it used to be like it wouldn't counter your own abilities, and it sounds like a great card, but mm -hmm. they said no, no, no. It now, abilities that are triggered by other abilities go on first, and then abilities that are triggered by anything else go on after. Okay. Or other way around. I don't know. But he now counters your own shit. I forget. I mean, that, that's what he was supposed to do. Yeah, exactly. You know, or you would just run the card that says entering the battlefield doesn't cause triggered abilities to trigger. Yeah, true. Which is my least favorite card of all time. <laughs> I really like when my stuff comes into play and does stuff. Yeah. I want copies of Panharmonicon. Yeah. Yeah. I'd copy Panharmonicon, no problem. Oh, yeah. Um... All right, so I was super right. Yep. We're doing uh, how, to play, how magic to play magic on Thursday, which is abnormal for us. Perfect. And uh, we're we sorry being, we missed. Yeah. Fucking thumb rumble. Thumb Schedule rumble. remains. Thumb and rumble. if you check, we've I've just recently put up Cinemachery every four weeks, so that's recurring yeah, on the calendar. Once a month. Oh my god. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, send us a. That's what we should do. Is we should definitely ask people what their like, who has what streaming service. That way we it's can pick point. something from the streaming service, we can riff it, that way we know everyone has it. That is an excellent Because there's point. a shitty-ass fucking Jujutsu movie on Netflix. Jujutsu? Yeah. It's starring, and we're using that word very lightly, <laughs> Nicolas Cage. Oh, jeez. As the old Chinese guy that teaches these people Jujutsu. <laughs> I couldn't make it past the first 20 minutes. Good God. And I'm, I'm good at watching bad movies. Yeah. I, like, I... Whew. All of a sudden, there were aliens going invisible and, <laughs> like, fighting 19 guys and only two Jeeps pulled up. Where'd all these guys come from? Uh, James says, what? Fuck off. Which I think is appropriate. Wait, My thoughts exactly. Saying what? Fuck off. That Nicolas Cage is... Absolutely gross. It sounds awesome. I think he's just talking about the movie in general. Oh, okay, yeah. I think he's too aghast at just all of it, because I am. Give it a shot. <laughs> Keep throwing money at Netflix, because they <laughs> love to cancel your favorite shit. Yeah. Oh, we're going to give Big Mouth another season, but eh, MST3K can go away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can it? W will it? Yeah. No. That's not how <laughs> cults work. We're going to keep circulating the tapes, motherfuckers. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine? Like, if Netflix was just like, please help keep Mystery Science Theater going, people would have thrown $6.5 million at them. Yeah. But instead, just give it to MST3K, because yeah. they're good enough to make their own shit. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't MST3K, like, the record holder, and then Critical Role overtook them, and they've now become the record holder again? Yes! For yeah. the most Kickstarter. I can't wait until Matt has to show up with Joel <laughs> and go, here's your belt back. Thanks for making such a big deal out of it when we beat it. I guess the animated Fox Machina series will come out eventually. Oh, I'm hyped for that. Is that That's even funny. out? No, I don't think I, so. I, I, I don't know. Every so often they upload, like, um, what you call it, like, uh, like a making of mm -hmm. episode. So I think they're in process. But I think a lot of the voice recording is done, so there's not as much, like, filming stuff up like on the YouTube. episode 50. Yeah. There's been, like, 100 episodes since then. It's been so many episodes that it's almost as long as you going, oh man, are you at TravelerCon yet? Roughly, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, um, no, Alex, I don't watch the show yet. Yeah. Yeah, no, i You should really get to TravelerCon. I'd, <laughs> no, I'd like, I'll make fun of Alex. Here, let me make fun of Alex on live TV. I'm pretty sure TravelerCon happened, and then there were two more episodes, and then I started watching, and Alex <laughs> goes, yo, TravelerCon's right around the corner for you. <laughs> okay, what are the streaming services? Uh, I mean, there's Netflix, there's Hulu, there's Disney Plus, there's HBO Max. 
Amazon Prime. There's Prime Video, yep. Yeah. Uh, Hubo Max. Um, do we care about anything else? Shutter. We're gonna get Shutter. Uh, Apple TV. I don't want to justify the existence of Apple. No, I'll throw it on the list. Here, we'll put up Shutter. Why not? Uh. Yeah. yeah okay. I got. I. I have. Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. So. Yeah. That's where I pull my streaming from. That's right. I mean, I'll... I also have, like, Samsung TV, which is just... Rift Tracks channel. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing so Samsung TV on the list. TV doesn't ever leave that channel. Yeah. Red Tube. Yep, that's a good one. Yep. They're not streaming. Do they do live? I don't know. Or no. Well, no, yeah, they do VODs. That's what we want. All right. There we go. Tell me what streaming services you got. JK, no, God. I know, he's right. Twitch won't allow it. Yeah, I, I definitely don't want to sit here and, like, riff, <laughs> riff fucking porn? OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, like... Man. Ah, she really likes that popsicle. <laughs> yeah. Man, no. has anyone riffed porn? There's some art that hasn't been done. Uh, yeah. But also, you know why no one's done it? <laughs> Because who's going to sit there yeah. and make fun of porn? Yeah. As Yahtzee once said, also no one's made a submarine out of bread. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only thing I would ever do is tell the, t- the cameraman to shut the fuck up. I cannot stress that shit enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless it's a POV, shut the fuck up cameraman. No, even, like, even more if it's a POV because you're too goddamn close to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> like if you are a male in a porno, you are a stagehand. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Uh, James got Netflix and Hulu. He did Disney for the Star Wars, but fell asleep during the ninth Star Wars movie or episode because same. Uh, I, I really, really wish they had told me beforehand that the first episode of Bad Batch was an hour and 15 minutes long. Or I would not have started watching it. It's an hour and 15 minutes. We started watching the show because we were like, oh, there's only going to be half-hour episodes. It's just like fucking Clone Wars. Except you know what's it's not like Clone Wars? Because there are no fucking Jedi. <laughs> On top of that, at the end of the episode, it is not the Star Wars theme. <laughs> yeah. That's why I watched all of Star all of Clone Wars. Yeah. Was to get to the Star Wars theme at the end of the episode. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Joe has a... We, we were talking about the Mortal Kombat movie. And he's like, legally distinct techno syndrome sucks. And he's mm-hmm. goddamn right. Yeah. He's unbelievably right. Um, and there's a video somewhere that's like, where the Mortal Kombat theme should have come in in MK11. And it's, you know, the final battle. Or like, you know, you are my chosen champion. A character says to another, I won't spoil who, in case you haven't played. In case you haven't and plan to play Mortal Kombat story mode. But, yeah, legally distinct techno syndrome sucks. <laughs> and the regular one is good. Um... I gotta run over to the computer at some point. We'll do that at the break, but I'll just remind you people. Um, what streaming services you got? Let us know. There's a form. It's check boxes. You can check as many. Cool. And in the meantime, um, let's play some magic. Well, definitely not riff jujitsu. I don't want to do that. That sounds miserable. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I feel like... Let's try to stay away from, from Nicolas Cage movies as much as we can. Yeah. Despite all my, na- all my rage. Still just Nicolas Cage. Yeah, but it's not just Nicolas Cage. It's Nicolas Cage. Yeah. (laughs) Wisecrack fucking loves that guy. Anyways, I'm going to shut up now.